Today, we are gonna talk about the secret sauce, the family recipe for success in making your film actually sell to major streaming platforms. Whether it's Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Disney Plus, there are so many streaming platforms out there starving for content and we really as filmmakers couldn't be living in a better time to sell your documentary projects. Now, this knowledge that I'm about to drop didn't just come from me. In fact, it comes from a couple of producers that I'm currently working with on a few of my projects to get them sold. And they both in their own right have sold several multi-million dollar documentaries and have a very good understanding of how the documentary filmmaking world works. Throughout the process of working with them, I have learned a ton about the tools that you need to try to get your documentary projects picked up and sold. Today we're gonna break down these three tools that you need in order to sell your documentary project. <laughs> First one, and it's a big one, is what they call exclusive access. What this means is do you have access and permission from your subjects of your story that no one else has. You have exclusive access into their life. You could follow them around. They have agreed to having you take this camera, follow them around, document them on film, get interviews. You have this permission that nobody else has. Why is this important? Well, let's talk about from the streaming platform's point of view. If they're gonna invest millions of dollars into your idea, what they wanna know right away is that they're not gonna have to jump through any hoops to get them to agree to be on film or pay them a ton of money to just do an interview. What you want is to make sure that you have a relationship and a foundation already built before you approach the streaming platforms and right away that's a headache that you take off of their plate and that's a huge plus in trying to get your documentary sold. The second thing that you're gonna need to sell your project is a good pitch deck. Now this is a big one to get into and a ton of information you need in order to check all their boxes. So what I've been doing in the past few months is putting together a course with a step-by-step -step breakdown of everything that you need in order to sell your project. For the purpose of this video, the main selling points in your deck should be synopsis, characters, story arc or episode breakdown and showing that you have exclusivity to your characters or the story in your pitch deck. This could be release forms, this could be location release forms. That's definitely gonna be a big selling point that you put at the end of your pitch deck. Now the main purpose of your pitch deck is to really be a guide while you're in meetings with executives and also have something to leave behind so they could reference your documentary and your idea. And if they have to send this up to department heads or whoever they have to have a conversation about it with, you have all the information laid out in a very digestible way where they can go through it and quickly find exactly what they're looking for. The third and final tool to selling your documentary is the sizzle reel. A lot like the pitch deck, there are a million different ways to go about it. A sizzle is kind of like an elongated trailer. Usually it's about three to five minutes that encompasses the entire story arc and hits on all the, the most important topics that they need to know in order to see that you have a full fleshed out story and a documentary that is worth investing in. The important aspects that you need to cover is a clear plot line, introducing the main characters where you briefly highlight who they are, where they're from, and their significance to the story. One important thing to keep in mind is that this is not a trailer, so you need to end the sizzle with the viewer having a really good understanding of how you plan to end the story. And, and documentaries are, are, are tough, man, because you never know exactly how you're gonna end something. You kinda need to follow a story or do some investigating along the way, but at least show them that you have an idea of a beginning, a middle, and an end for your series, and you have a fleshed out storyline that you're ready to produce. Now, like I said, I'm in the process of putting together a course that breaks down how to sell your documentary projects from start to finish, highlighting both filmmaking and business aspects of getting your ideas picked up and sold. If you guys are interested or have any other questions, please leave them in the comments down below. This is kind of just a bare bones understanding of the three things that you need in order to sell your documentary. There's a lot that goes into actually successfully getting something picked up. I'd love to know and hear more from you guys about anything that you're interested in or interested in knowing. Most importantly, get out there and go film. If you guys haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.